Uh, first, I wanted to look at a couple plugins. This one's called Sample V1, and then Drum KV1, which is uh, more of like a multi sampler for um, adding samples to various notes, whereas the Sample V1 is um, polyphonic. So let's just take a look at both. Get. Um, and I'm just using Ardor, which is probably the most popular Linux DAW to use. So I'm going to add a MIDI track. You can right click in the right side here to add a new MIDI track. Select MIDI. And then we'll either, why don't I go with the drum KV one? I think this is going to take a little more time to set up, but let's do it. So drum KV1, everything looks good here. Add and close, perfect. And then in Ardor, the, the uh, audio tracks and uh, MIDI tracks are, they display exactly the same. So if I drag this down, you can see MIDI. If I close it, not so much. So it's kind of nice, I like that layout. All right, so let's open this plugin and get some samples loaded up. By default, nothing's going to be loaded here, so we need to load some stuff. And you can see each um, MIDI note number has some text tied to it. And I think you can change that. I'm not sure. I haven't used this a lot. And then double click here to add a new sample. So let's start with a bass drum. And I have so much stuff. Um, go into documents. There we go. Drum samples. Let's just pull in like a basic 909. Something like that. Let's hear it. Okay, that works. All right. And I'm not going to get too carried away with this, but just kind of show how it works. Acoustic snare, electric. Okay, we'll do the electric snare. Oh, what do we have here? SD1, okay, works for me, let's hear it, good enough, we have hi-hats in here, closed hi-hat, I'm just going to add these three elements and we'll go from there, okay, so hi-hat one, is that closed, yep, okay, cool, so, We'll just sequence something really quickly with that. And to do that, you have to go into the draw mode. So you can click this pencil or you can hit the D key on your keyboard. For some reason, you have to do that to create a, a MIDI pattern. I don't know why. And then to make it a full measure, um, you hit G or back into this pointer thing and then pull that out. Four, four bars there. Actually, I think that's four, <laughs> four measures. Here, let me, there we go. That's better. Cool. So let's, um, I'll go back into the draw mode and you notice that we have, um, some notes here that are 16th note. You could change that if you want to eighth note and it'll by default make an eighth note. I'm going to change the snapping back to 16th. Uh, but I'm also going to change this to percussive. So if I right click and go into uh, note mode, change that from standard to percussive, I can add some notes. So I think we're starting at C2. Yeah. So C2 is the kick. I'll just do. <laughs> Just do four beats of kick and then 
we have our snare there on the E. So I'll do that on the two and four. And then a hi-hat is up here on the F sharp. So I'll just do um, straight eighths on that. I'm not doing anything too impressive here. Just want to show you how this works, different samplers and how you can use them. So um, if I hit the L key, I, well, it would play a loop if I had defined one, but I haven't yet. So I can right click on this region, this MIDI region and make it a loop by clicking loop there. Okay, pretty basic. Cool, so that's how, <laughs> that's how drum KV1 works.